New Views for Nonprofit Housing gives you the ability to store RGI-related details for each unit in your complex, including household composition, income, utilities, and any additional charges. Best of all, New Views can use these details to calculate subsidies and automatically generate the monthly rent roll. Let's take a look at how this works using a housing complex in Ontario for our example. The Rent Summary view is accessed through the RGI tab when you're looking at a table of member or tenant accounts. This view displays a summary of housing charges for each resident. By changing the preview date, we can also see a summary of housing charges at any time, including dates in the past and the future. The table in the top pane shows the date of the RGI calculation in effect, a description of the event that triggered the RGI calculation, and the number of residents. You can also see the market rent, the subsidy that was calculated, net rent, any additional charges, and total rent. If a subsidy calculation has been overridden, it will be displayed in the Subsidy Override column. This is important for non-subsidized households or subsidy calculations that don't follow the norm. The household layout, deposit amount, and the date and reason for the next RGI review are also displayed in the Rent Summary view. When someone moves in or whenever the subsidy for a household is recalculated, an RGI item is added to the RGI info table. The accompanying detail panes are used to enter information for each household, including household composition, income, utilities, and additional charges like parking or sector support. NewViews uses all these details to calculate the subsidy for a household. A summary of the subsidy calculation can be viewed using the Calc Summary tab. If the Attachments view has been installed, any relevant attachments can also be viewed. Let's go through the process of adding RGI details for a tenant who is moving in. Alice O'Brien is moving into Unit 208 on March 1, 2018, so we're going to add the first RGI item for this account. Pressing the Insert key adds a new item to the RGI table. Notice that default values are automatically filled in for the RGI type, minimum rent, and the percent paid by the tenant. Any of these can be changed as required. We'll enter the reason for this RGI review in the Description field and the date it's effective. The RGI type can be HSA, ILM, or Section 95. HSA is what we want for this unit. Market rent is $1,018, and we can leave the minimum rent and 10% as is. In order for the subsidy calculation to be accurate, we need to enter complete information for household composition, income, utilities, and any additional charges. This is done in the detail pane below. The Residence tab is used to enter the household composition. We'll use the description principal tenant for Alice, but you can use head of household or any description that makes sense to you. Generally, the resident will be a member or tenant, so yes is entered in this field. There are exceptions to this, like long-term guests staying with the leaseholder or children under 16 in a co-op. In cases like these, you would enter no. Alice's full name is entered in the name field. If the resident is the head of the unit, the related to and relation fields are left as none. When we enter Alice's birth date, her age is calculated automatically. The child status and full-time student fields are only filled in for children in the household, so we'll leave those blank. If a resident pays child support for a child not residing in the household, the monthly amount is entered in the paid child support field. Alice does not pay child support, so we'll leave it blank. Alice does not receive ODSP or OW benefits, but if she did, we would enter yes in the ODSP slash OW beneficiary field. Alice is also not a special needs resident, 
but we would enter yes in the special needs field for any residents that are. Now let's fill in the details for Alice's child, Cindy. In the Related To field, we press F3 to see a list of residents in the unit. In this case, Cindy's mother, Alice, is the only choice. We can also press F3 in the Relation field to choose the appropriate relationship between them. We're done with household composition, so we'll go to the Income tab. Alice works full-time and receives child support, so we'll enter those details. A few things to mention. Alice doesn't receive ODSP benefits, but if she did, we would specify the type in the ODSP info field. Also, if Alice's income fluctuated from pay period to pay period, we have the option of double-clicking the income amount field to open an income detail table. Here, we can enter gross amounts for the last six pay periods and NewViews will automatically calculate the average. Let's add the income from child support and then we'll be done with the income tab. Notice that you can double click a selection instead of clicking the select button. NewViews gives you a tool to fill in the Utilities tab quickly and easily. Use the command Tools, Populate Utilities, and choose the settings corresponding to the type of unit. If required, these settings can be changed. Any value entered for Utilities Override will override the utility subsidy that is calculated by NewViews. For information on creating standard settings for the Populate Utilities tool, please see the section called Options Management in the New Views for Nonprofit Housing User Guide. Everything here is fine as is, so we'll click Continue. Alice will also be paying for one parking spot at a rate of $25 per month. We'll add that using the Additional Charges tab. You could enter parking spot information in the description, but a better method is to use a NewViews option that tracks non-financial information for pets, parking, and emergency contacts. For more details, see the section called Pets, Parking, and Emergency Contacts in the User Guide. There are no final adjustments to enter for Alice, so our RGI item is now complete. We can see the calculation details in the Calc Summary tab. Notice how the RGI item now displays amounts for the subsidy, net rent, additional charges, and total rent. If you want any deposits paid by Alice to be displayed in the calculation summary, you would enter the value for total deposits in the deposit field. You can also enter a date and reason for the next RGI review.
The print command can be used to display subsidy calculations in a web browser where they can be printed or saved. When the time comes to add another RGI item for Alice, either for an annual review or because something in her circumstances has changed, the fastest way to do this is to copy and paste an existing RGI item, then make the necessary changes. To copy an RGI item, use the block copy and block paste commands. Once you've entered RGI details for all the tenant or member accounts, generating the monthly rent roll is quick and easy. Just mark the accounts in a block and issue the Tools, Create Transactions, Rent Register command. The first time you run this command, you'll have to fill in the entire prompt. After that, all you usually have to do is enter a new date and reference for the monthly rent roll transaction, then click Continue. For more information on filling in this prompt, please see the section called Creating Rent Roll Transactions in the User Guide. Let's go to the Rent Register Journal to see the new transaction that was just added. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes to generate the rent roll each month.